welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in to see what I've got going on today. I am solving the problem with FJ80 series Land Cruisers and not having cup holders. So see what I've got coming up. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. shop today and I'm trying to address an issue that most Lexus LX450 folks have and even most of the FJ people. We do not have a lot of um, console space nor do we have cup holders. Once again I'm going to say that this is, um, this is going to be an Orvalin rig. So it's not my luxury car. It's not something that uh, is gonna be standard. It's gonna be heavily modified. So taking the top armrest, which you can see the hinge here, which goes up and down, okay? I'm taking this off and it's in good shape. So what I've done, because all of my dash and console is gonna be modified anyway. I've got stands for my my nav system, my tablet, my UHF radio, and all that stuff that's up there already. So it, it's, it's all gonna be um, a little different. So I'm trying to make it better. So what I've done is that I have cut a piece of oak, just plywood, but I sanded it down, rounded all the corners, and there is a bracket that goes onto back of here with two bolts in it a half an inch tall it's about five inches wide okay so what I did in order to hide that is that I cut a notch in my bracket it goes all the way through so that metal bracket that sticks up that's the hinge is gonna go in here and then I'm gonna put two screws through the pilot holes that I drilled and that's going to hold them in place. And so this is going to hinge up and down on my console and I'll still be able to get to the one that's underneath that used to be underneath here. And then I can reach the latch under here to get to the big one that will come up. So I'm not losing any storage and I'm not losing my armrest because my armrest is going to be mounted Got to cut those little tabs, but my armrest is going to be mounted like so. Okay, now you think, oh, well, what are you gaining? Well, at O'Reilly's, they sell dual cup holders which will mount right here. So I will have two cup holders, armrest, and then maybe a place for switches or something else that can go here. But I don't know, we'll see. The switches probably won't work there, but I can put something there if I wanted to. Anyway, so I'm gonna have an armrest and I'm gonna have cup holders. So I'll show you the rest of it whenever I get done. That's the project I'm working on now. And by the way, I'm not leaving it uh, where I would. Ta -da. What I have is some faux leather material that I used to recover some seats in my barber shop. 
So I'm going to cover it with that. I'm going to cut it and use uh, uh, Gorilla Glue contact cement and attach this all to it so it looks nice and neat. And the brown goes with the armrest that I already have and it matches the interior because my, my interior is dark brown and light beige. So it will go with that and look better than just some raw wood. Even if I stained it or probably your thing, this will look better. And Dominic, my dog, he likes to ride up there on the console. So this will give him a little traction too. So I'm going to get on with it. I took some pictures of what I've been doing and I'll take some video back out inside Nimbus so you can see what uh, is going on there. Um, and we'll see how it works. I know I looked at some other used consoles that had the cup holders in them. You know, they get 200, 250, some of them $300 for some of these things. Um, and I like my subwoofer that's in mine. It works good. So I didn't necessarily want to lose that. Um, and I don't carry a lot of drinks anyway, but I figure on the trail, I need something. Um, and the little thing that's down there that comes on the, on the LX, it'll hold a can or it'll hold a, a soda bottle like so, just right. But, but that's it. And I think I'll still be able to get a can in there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a 20 ounce bottle. It might be too tall this way, maybe. We'll see though. So I'm not doing anything that can't be undone. Um, <clears throat> So, if this doesn't work or it doesn't turn out good, I can always take the wood off, take the screws out, put the armrest back on with uh, two bolts and uh, go back to normal. But at least I'm going to give it a shot because this I already had, so it's paid for. The wood I had, so it's paid for. And the drink holders at O'Reilly's, $6.95. So, maybe got 10 bucks in it. Um, so we'll see how it does for a 10 buck fix and gives me more space, gives me a place for drinks. I still have my arm pad rest. I can still get to all my storage and Dominic has a place to stand whenever we're not going down the trail. So I'll get back. saw me the time lapse I put the spray adhesive down my nozzle stopped up right as I started so I had to stop and clean it out so I sprayed the oak board on the back side or the top side and then I sprayed around all the edges smoothed it out folded it over then I just cut the edges I didn't do that great a job on the edges with the glue but I'll get some more of that and glue that down so that'll be just fine so that's what it's going to look like. And then you'll be able to see the rest of it shortly. Okay. I have now screwed down the cup holder with the screws that came provided. And then I used up front, these two screw holes were where the, the latch went, and those holes were already there. And then in the back, I just drilled two holes to kind of match. And then this is the bottom plate that I took off from inside of here. You can see there's where the lock screws were, and there's where the hinge screws were. Okay. So I don't want to glue this down so I can't ever get it back up. So I have some super heavy duty Velcro. It sticks on both sides. So I've already tested it. So I'm going to put a piece in each one of these slots because these little rails here, they actually touch over here. So if I put them there, it's going to make it too high. So I'm going to attach those in there, fill them off, 
I'm gonna put them on here and then I think we're gonna be good. I'll let you know in a second. So this stuff is really hard to get off because it's so sticky. So with the magic of video, there we go. It's only gonna take just a second. Okay, so here we go. Screwed it down, put the Velcro on there. Voila. So that's the finished product in the shop. And I've already marked the two pilot holes here. So I'm gonna go put it in the uh, in Nimbus, screw it in, see how it looks. It's pretty dark outside, but I'll uh, put on my headlight or something. So you can see. Okay, so my battery's about to die. This thing, let's turn on the switch. Okay, so there we can see what it looks like. I still have that. I can reach under here and pick up that one. Move it around. But I just screwed it in with those two screws right there. That were where the original hinge went. This is what it looks like from right there. I think it's pretty good. So I'll let you know how it works tomorrow. We'll see it in the daylight. Thanks.